cave. Nick, you had a wonderful series of concerts, I've heard. Are you well? Um, well, they weren't all wonderful, actually. And am I well? Um, oh, yeah, a little, yeah, a bit well, yeah. Yeah, great. Um, I've read this book you've written, Inking, King Ink, and um, there's this a thing says something about dumb Europe. What did you mean by that? Um, what, did I mean, what do I mean by dumb Europe? Mm -hmm. Well, I meant uh, uh, Europe, um, Europe who is all eyes and uh, all ears, but um, has no tongue. Mm -hmm. You feel you could be something like a tongue for Europe? A tongue for Europe. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> a tongue for Europe. Um, no, not at all. I can be the tongue for no one but myself. Mm. Um, Do you like Europe? Generally? Um, uh, well, I mean, I mean, it's impossible really to answer that. I mean, Europe is not one, one. Um, one country, it's very, you know, a lot of very different uh, countries. I mean, there are certain parts of Europe I like, you know, mm. better than others. Mm. I mean, I like Berlin, and I like uh, Hamburg. I mean, I like the... Um, and um, there's a couple of places in uh, the rest of Europe that I like. I like the red light district mm. in Amsterdam, but basically the rest of Europe. No, I don't like France. I don't like um, uh, Scandinavia. Um, actually, okay. let's start again, right? Let's start again. Start again. Okay. Right. Start again. Start again. If I start off too slowly like that. No, oh, it's okay. Anyway. It's okay. It's this concert is supposed to be the last one. It's supposed to be the last one. No. Yes. Why? Yes, it's the last uh, of our concerts to promote this. Um, particular single, yeah. Single. Um, uh, and we're only doing a, sh uh, a small number of concerts. Mm -hmm. The days of touring uh, are long, you know, of long tours. Uh, you like to go on tour. Well, you let me finish my, mm -hmm. my sentence first before you start yours, okay? Um, the days of, lo uh, of touring are um, long gone for us. We just do kind of one here and one there these days. Mm -hmm. Why? Okay. Is it stressing for you? Um, because um, the quality of the shows suffer. Um, you know, I think once you've done, played six times or so live, you can't, you can't really offer very much more of it, uh, anything other than kind of some sort of a routine, you know. You, s you cease to be able to kind of dig up any new ways to sing the song or kind of to respond to people, um, so you know, it really it only works for us really to do uh, a handful of shows at any one time. So it's much more interesting for you to not get a routine. That's exactly the opposite to the other bands. They try to get a routine before oh. they go on tour. Yeah, I mean, for me, routine is the ballast that chains the dog to its vomit. Um, yeah. You're very much into writing. Um, writing? I writing. I, I read this book. Well, I didn't read it. I read through it. I read some poems. I read some pieces. Most of it I didn't understand. But some things I thought I would, or I did. What didn't you understand? Um, just the way the thoughts were put together. It was just, for me, it was a bit... Um, hmm. I couldn't follow you. And a lot of things, but it's that's my problem, of course. Um, what what do you do? What do you do when you're not on stage? Uh, well, I do a lot of writing. You know, you sit down deliberately to write, or do you just let it flow? Or yeah, um, I do most of my um, writing sitting down. Sometimes I stand up. <laughs> Sometimes no, I, mean, I stand you go, up do you on go, the pedals. Do you go, do you go somewhere and say, I want to write now? Or like, oh, like writing. 
Yes, right. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I spend most of my time writing as well. Is it like work for you? Like labor? Uh, yes. Do you go there from nine to five, or is it just a job you do any time of the day? Um, no, it's um, it's like working from can to can't. Can can hardly see when you send out. Can't see a thing when you call back. It's you know all my waking hours are spent writing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you'd like to really do, like? Writing a pl you wrote some plays, or there's some f fractions of plays in this book. Is that a thing you would uh, sort of emphasize more, or do you want it to emphasize? What do you mean by that question? Well, I'm, was, I'm trying to ask if there's anything you'd like to do with this sector of writing and being creative by writing. Um, Is there anything that would sort of tickle you, like write a, a film or write a play for a stage, for a big stage, or for, I don't know, something like that? Um, well, yeah, I don't know, really. I don't know, I mean, I, yeah. Uh, I'd like to write a film or a play for a, a big stage. It'd be all right. You're waiting for offers, or will you do it yourself? Um, well, at the moment I'm writing a novel, and that takes up all my time at the moment. It will be out in autumn, I think, yeah? It was supposed to be out then? So uh, it was supposed to be out about three and a half years ago, actually. <laughs> but um, it's taken a lot longer than uh, the publisher and I expected it to take. Um, but it's a, yeah, it's a lot, it's, the whole thing's a lot uh, more of a kind of mammoth, epic, um, uh, yeah, thing than it, than it was. Yeah. Could you rough it up, what's it, what it's about? It's about a mute, that's, uh, a dumb, like dumb Europe. Um, it's uh, about a, uh, a mute who can't speak, you know, boy can't speak. And uh, he's uh, uh, lying in uh, quicksand. This is this uh, wet sand that uh, mm -hmm. sucks you under. And he's uh, gradually um, being pulled under. And he's telling, uh, and he's being hunted down by people. And he tells uh, the story of uh, how he is. Uh, gotten into this situation and this story spans his entire lifetime from from the time in the boozy curds of his mother's womb where he floated happily with his brother to uh, to the time that he died there you know I mean he's, he's, it's his death story in fact and uh, he tells the story of uh, a, a kind of uh, waning or, or a small uh, religious sect who lives in this valley where he lives, who are kind of falling apart uh, morally and and socially. And uh, he is an outsider, and he is, uh, lives on the very outskirts of this particular valley, and he is chastised and uh, punished and uh, generally... Um, kicked around by the people uh, of this valley. And the valley is a sugarcane growing industry as well. So the valley is uh, made up of itinerant workers who drift in and uh, uh, harvest the fields and so on. Uh, you know, rough, dirty men and uh, kind of religious fanatics, Puritans and so on. And uh, my novel, uh, dissects this uh, dichotomy. Are you afraid of dying? Yeah, I'm, I am terrified of dying at the moment. Is that the way you sort of imagine your own death, in the moment of death, right, like uh, strolling through your past life? Yeah, I mean, that, um, yeah, maybe that's what hell is. Maybe, maybe hell is just your life uh, in retrospect. Um, 
but no, I don't imagine. I, I don't imagine that's what death is. But I um, sometimes I I feel sick to think of uh, dying. Uh, when I think of um, what will happen after I'm, you know, dead, my mortal body is dead. Um, sometimes the whole thought makes me feel physically sick. Really. You wrote an article about <coughs> the Einstutz and Neubauten I read, I, I read, and about Blixer. Are you two sort of uh, brothers in spirit? Um, yeah, we're Siamese twins of the soul. Siamese twins of the soul. When did you find that out? The first time? Was that like... Um, yeah, in fact, yeah. I always felt a little kind of tugging, tugging of the skin around the hip. And, um, oh, I mean, sorry, a tugging of the skin around the heart. And uh, one, one day I saw him in Holland, in fact, on television. And uh, I knew uh, there and then that, um, uh, you know, he was this, and he was this being that, um, that uh, was attached to the uh, other end of the piece of ligature, the piece of um, invisible ligature that tugged at my heart. Do you get along well on tour with the whole band? No, no, we don't. You don't? We, um, you have difficulties? Well, that's, that's to put it mildly, yeah. Um, basically, there's a, there's a, uh, a, a full-on hatred between most of the members of our group. Um, but we we um, managed to swallow that kind of disgust and contempt for each other and and carry on because we we feel responsible to uh, our fans and so on. Uh, you know, our music grows out of uh, negative forces. Our music is the stuff of hate. Um, yeah. The stuff of hate. So, yeah. Um, you don't um, see music as something freeing, as soothing for the soul? Uh, Isn't that what makes you let it out? Um, no. No. Um, the reason for me, for me being involved in pers um, creative pursuits as I am, and so many, is uh, that I find a basic need to externalize my uh, ideas and, um, and by doing so understand um, uh, my feelings towards things. Um, if I didn't externalize my thoughts and and put them into some form that I could kind of see and um, you know hold in front of me, uh, I, I fear my um, the development of my myself would be severely retarded. Uh, so that's why it's done, and that and the money. How, how important is money for you? Um, it's it's um, pretty yeah pretty important. It's extremely important. I understand you have to get ready for your show tonight. No, no. no. Do you want to go on to sit can? here and yeah? talk to you? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. There's some other things I'd like to know about your lyrics. I mean, if you'd mind talking about I it, we'll cut it off. It's supposed to be um, what you called an uh, associative interview. No, no, no. I, I was asking. No, no, no. I was. No, 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 I was asking you if you want to do that, and you said no. You, th you said I have to work some too. Okay, that's okay with me. Um, but uh, I just mean to tell you that there is work in well, associative now that interviews I, now that because. I've seen it, you, you. 
I'm, you haven't really done much work anyway on the other so you might as well you know we can try <laughs> one of those. So all right just pulling kind of questions out of in a, in a sort of blind panic to fill in the in the spaces we you can get the um, feeling yeah i get that feeling yeah. very strongly well, I mean, trying to get to know you which is uh, not that easy because you won't let any body just come um, bedroom manner is it not a bedroom manner wouldn't no. say so no it's just uh, you know we could talk about music but that's like dancing on architecture that's very uninteresting <laughs> i mean people can listen to your music if they're interested in that i think they're much more interested in you as a person and if you tell me things like that, that's very, I think that's okay, that's very precious, much more precious than you talking about music in general, don't you think? Um, I mean, I think it's much more interesting for the people to see what makes you tick. And if you say things like, for me, music is evil, it's, it's something bad that comes out, and it's for me, it's a source, I have to put it out because otherwise it would sort of destroy me or myself as a person. That's very interesting, I think, and it gives a good picture of you. Don't you think? Um, are you some closet Satanist or something? No. Um, I didn't say my my music was an evil force within so well, inside. Well, okay, that's my my very meager interpretation very, very of that. Very loose, very loose, very loose. Inter interpretation. Well, you're the poet. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose I am. When it all boils down to it. I'm the verse monger, the man of words. Uh, yeah. Where did you first? I'm the, I'm, the re you know, on. I'm the one having that thing poke. Uh, you know, I'm the face that that thing is uh, poking at. Yeah. When did you first start writing lyrics? Can you remember? Um, well, for as um, for as long as I can remember, really which is uh, about a week ago. Um, yeah, well, enough, just, just for, you know, all of my uh, creative life has been involved in the pursuit of, uh, you know, lyric, in lyrical pursuits. Do you like uh, making future plans? Um, no, not really. Uh, any plans that I make in the, uh, of the future are, are so um, and I rarely, um, I rarely pull them off anyway. Uh, and I'm so kind of uh, tied up in trying to hold together the present um, that I really don't get time to make plans for the future. The present is too um, is uh, too full and um, complicated. I'm I'm you know Jesus-like in my sense of the present. Jesus-like? What do you mean? I mean I'm like Jesus in that respect. Can you explain that to me? I'm a Christian. Um, I thought you said you were Christian. My name is Christian. Oh, I see. Um, oh, that's a pity. I think so. Yeah. It's okay with me. Um, Christian, well, like some have been holy, or, or what do you mean? Walking waters? <laughs> um, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I mean by that. Yeah. Um, Jesus had an a incredible sense of uh, the present, I think. Um, you mean awareness of? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, he, uh, he, he had neither uh, a kind of mind for the past in that he he held any kind of grudges or um, or despised anybody uh, for what they had done um, in their past life. Nor did he nor did he uh, have any kind of nor were his plans uh, compromised for for the future. Um, he lived purely for for the uh, for the moment, and um, and his life uh, was um, quite quite a kind of uh, well. There were a lot of very kind of 
uh, terrible forces going on in his life. And uh, he, uh, I think he must have been quite a clever person to, um, to maintain this kind of awareness of uh, the future, of the uh, present. Do you think it has to do with cleverness, um, with thoughtfulness? Well, being a, um, being a kind of, uh, for someone like myself who oscillates between um, belief and um, doubt, as I so often uh, am, um, it often ma makes, makes things a lot easier if I believe that Christ was just an incredibly clever person rather than that he was imbued with some uh, godly spiritualness. Um, it's quite easy to understand uh, why Christ could be the way he was if, if you were to believe that he was, uh, he was in fact um, a, limb of, a limb of God himself. Um, but, but to um, to have that opinion, then then you have to kind of believe in in uh, God and so forth. And and do you? Well, are you? Would I you say you're I religious? Um, yeah, I, I probably, yeah, I would say I was religious. Yeah, but I mean, I I, um, I have a lot of trouble, uh, a lot of problems, um, maintaining a belief in the whole thing.